Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to talk about what's on my iPhone. This is the first what's on my iPhone video I've done for 2012. I get the question a lot what's actually on here as far as applications I use, and thought I'd share what I have recently switched around and, and changed as far as the way I use the phone. So let me go ahead and unlock it here, and you can see that I have pretty similar to last time, but I've changed it up a little bit. So as always, I have uh, the Bible app, iBooks, I use both of those. Uh, but the newer things I'm using are right in this corner. I've used Instagram for some time, and if you haven't used that, I would suggest checking it out. But I use Casts, and here you can see this is for podcasts. This is a fantastic application for podcasting and allows you to subscribe to different feeds really easily. You can see this is Mac Break Weekly. Here's a bunch of different things I've subscribed to. I have my own podcast just to see if it's working properly. Uh, you can see that we have a bunch of different podcasts here. It will go out and fetch the latest podcast. You can see this is Windows Weekly, all from the Twit Network, uh, one of my favorite groups of podcasts to listen to. And it'll tell you here, unplayed, unplayed. It will leave off where you left off. You can download it. I generally stream it because I don't, uh, I, I'm grandfathered into the unlimited data plan and don't really need to worry about that too much. But if you, if you do, go home on Wi-Fi, hit the download button, and then you don't have to worry about streaming it. If I close this and go back to the earphones here, we can listen. I push play. I can advance just by tapping right here. You can see 45 seconds, go back 10 seconds. There's a lot of just really great options in this, this, this uh, podcast app overall, and I would really recommend checking it out. I think it's only a dollar, but if you listen to a lot of podcasts, uh, for me so far, it's one of the nicest one I've seen, other than having to sync via iTunes and all that. I'd rather just use a podcasting app. It does a great job. Now, one of the things I haven't used in a really long time, and it just never really, uh, I never really connected with it until recently is Evernote. Evernote's been out for a really long time, but now I find myself using it very often. Evernote, if you don't know, allows you to basically take notes anywhere you go. So I can put a note on here and then say I switch to Windows Phone 7 because I'm reviewing this phone. I can install the Evernote app here and have all my notes. So instead of just using the Notepad app or the Notes app that comes with iOS, uh, I've used Evernote. In Evernote, I can store ideas and all sorts of things, and you can break it down. You can view it on the web. You can view it on Android. You can view it on just about any device out there. And it's really flexible and very simple. And you can use it as simply as making simple notes, or you can capture whole web pages it's, it, and save them to read for later. There's a lot of things it does, and I would highly recommend taking a look at it. Now, one of the newer things I've used for news is Flipboard. And the reason I switched to Flipboard, I use Pulse a lot, and I have it here in news. I use Pulse a lot, but... I switched to Flipboard for the most part because Flipboard presents it in a nicer way and kind of gives me what Windows Phone 7 does with the People Hub. So it combines Facebook and Twitter, my own personal feeds, so Facebook and Twitter, and then puts them into cover stories and also combines all the news all into one. So I can go here and see everything. So here's Facebook, Twitter, cover stories. And then all the different news places I go. If I start at cover stories, it will start with all the new stuff and kind of just bring me through it. And then I can just flip through really nice. And it works really well. It looks beautiful, has a great interface, and it's free. So it works really well. And uh, there's a phone call. Let me decline that for now. And um, that's one of my favorite apps as far as that goes, Flipboard. So we'll go ahead and move on. Now, Instagram is another one of my favorites. Take some pictures, uh, maybe put some filters on it, and upload and share them with friends and family. So those are my favorite. Now, on this page, I've shown most of these before. We've got things like in social, Facebook, Twitter, Path. Uh, I'm not so crazy about Path. It's a nice application, looks great, but I don't use it as much as maybe some other people. Finance apps, I'm not really going to go over these. Uh, TiVo I do use lately. Uh, I have a TiVo, great application, remote for that. eBay, PayPal, games, or these are the old ones. So what I do with all the new stuff I use to kind of keep track of it is I go over here. And I have a third page where nothing's organized yet. So Grid Lens is one of these new applications I've used that allows you to make really interesting pictures. You can take a picture, I go in here, and Grid Lens lets me take a picture of a couple different things. Uh, let me grab the Galaxy Nexus here. 
And what it does is I've got all these grids here. And I don't know if you can see that with the light. So there's these different grids and I can capture a picture of the phone like this. You maybe capture it like this and this. Maybe the back of it here and here. And finally like that. And so what it did is it just created a real quick photo app for me or a photo for me of that. Let's see if it, there we go. And what we can do is go here and we'll go here and there's what I just created. You can create some really nice things with this application uh, depending on how you photograph it and things. And then you can share it. You can see here uh, we can change up filters, things like that. Uh, it's really a nice application and I think that one's a dollar as well. One of the most recent apps I've been using as far as games go is Blueprint 3D. Great game. Uh, one of the guys, one of my favorite creators of video games, Will Wright, recommended that on one of his blurbs or blogs or something I wrote somewhere or read somewhere. And uh, Blueprint 3D is really a fun game. It's a dollar and you kind of arrange blueprints to make them into an image and it, it works pretty well. A uh, tiny tower I've been using. Uh, the game really annoys me, to be honest. Uh, I don't really like to play games where I have to be coming back constantly and it takes forever to level up and things. Uh, it seems to be more of a tedious game than anything else. That's my opinion. You may love it. Uh, I know other guys uh, I work with actually like it a lot. I'm not really big on that game. Here we have Grocery IQ. Grocery IQ I use a lot between me and my wife, and what it does is allows me to update a grocery list so she'll update the list it will update in real time you can see there's nine items i haven't bought yet and it allows me to update that list on the fly so if she wants me to go out and get some bread and milk she can update it it will send me a push notification if i want it to or just update the number there and i'll see that there's something new to get once i get it i can check it off it updates both in real time and she knows that i've picked it up so a really nice application it's free and i definitely recommend checking that out here we have Cardstar. Cardstar is a, a way to save your cards from, say, Staples or maybe a different shopping place you go to. So you don't have to carry all those really annoying little credit card style things or keychains with you. You can just store them here. And it's really simple to use. You can take a picture of it. It will capture the barcode and create its own barcode right on the screen. Works great and does a good job. Uh, overall though, that's kind of what I'm going to go over today. Some of these you've seen before I've had a long time, been playing run, Roo run. Uh, it's gotten a lot of recommendations from different application places and overall it's, it's pretty good so far. It seems a little boring, but maybe that's because I haven't gotten far enough into it. So I'm going to keep playing that and see, uh, one last app team viewer, team viewer lets you view your similar to log me in, uh, but has some other features and sometimes seems a little faster on a Mac, uh, allows you to either share your Mac with many people so they can see your desktop, or you can simply use it yourself. The app on the iPhone and iPad is free and I would recommend that. I have a ton of apps, but I'm not going to spend all day going over all of them. Just wanted to share some of the ones I use the most right now. So Cass, Evernote, Flipboard, Instagram, use those a lot. Uh, Blueprint 3D, Grocery IQ, and some of these I use regularly as well. Money Wells, one of my favorite ones as well. So there's quite a few different applications. Check those out. And as always, please comment below in, in applications I may have missed that you think are are great or maybe your favorite app that I that I missed. And uh, I love to see what you have to say as far as that goes. I like to try out apps I haven't seen before or uh, maybe I have and I'd like to hear your opinion on them. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. This is Aaron. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.